Yes. You want some coffee? Stepping out of my comfort zone and saying yes to try was something I didn't do very often until I went on a Girl Ventures course. And every day, I was challenged with something new. Hi, my name is Beatrice. I'm 18 years old and currently a freshman at San Francisco State University. I was first involved with Girl Ventures in 2006 when I did Project Courage. The following year, I returned and did transition. And to my surprise, saw a few of the girls I was on course with the previous summer. After transitions ended, I still want to say, stay a part of Girl Ventures. So I joined the Girls Advisory Board from my 9th to 12th grade. My first year on the board, I remember being really shy. But over the years, I opened up more and started to use my voice to communicate my opinions. During my senior year of high school, I was nominated to be the co-chair of the advisory board. It was a new challenge for me because I've never been in that big of a leadership role before. But with the support of my fellow co-chair, I learned a lot and improved my facilitation skills as well. The past two years, the advisory board has organized a walkathon to raise money for scholarships. I found that really important to me because without the scholarships I had received, I wouldn't have been able to go on the courses and experience those life-changing moments. So I made it a goal for myself to raise as much money as I could because I want other girls to be able to have the same new adventures too. Having gained some outdoor knowledge during my courses and improving my leadership and facilitation skills, I now wanted to learn how to teach these skills out in the field and become an assistant instructor. So this past summer, I came back as a participant on On The Rise so I could practice teaching these skills with my peers. On the second day, we had a ropes course. And having a fear of heights, I wasn't too excited to go on the zip line. <laughs> but knowing that I wasn't the only girl who was afraid of heights made me feel a whole lot better. Seeing those same girls get up and jump down without any doubt inspired and motivated me to at least go up and try. I was up there for 30 minutes, <laughs> not moving an inch. <laughs> But with all the encouragement from these girls I had just met the day before, I finally got myself to jump down. It felt as if I were flying through the trees with the wind in my hair and legs floating along with the ride. I was greeted with a giant hug from everyone and it was a great relief to have my feet firmly placed back on the ground. <laughs> After experiencing these courses, the challenges I've overcame and seeing how much I've changed for the better from them, I now hope to become an assistant instructor so I can help these girls on the courses realize that they can overcome any challenge that they face, whether it may be emotionally, physically, or even both. I want to help guide them along this journey to find their inner strength and courage, just like how my own instructors and my peers help me find mine. Thank you.